Rakawa, on the south coast of Sri Lanka, is home to several varieties of sea turtles. Guided by a kind of inner compass, the female turtles swim long distances, often more than 10,000 kilometers, to return to the very same beach where they were born. Here, they finally lay their eggs. They search for a secluded spot and dig a pit under cover of darkness. Not an easy task to perform with flippers. The turtles then lay up to 200 eggs within the span of 30 minutes. Turtle eggs are very high in protein and are considered a culinary delicacy. The fishers of Rekawa used to collect the eggs and sell them in nearby villages. But the large-scale nest poaching was threatening to drive the marine turtles to extinction. Added threats, estimates say some 250,000 marine turtles are caught and killed in the nets of fishing fleets every year. I have children to feed. I didn't have any other job, so I used to collect turtle eggs to survive. Today, the men in the area have an alternative. They patrol the beach to catalog the eggs and guard the nests. They're working for a turtle conservation program that was established through a joint effort by the United Nations and an environmental organization. Wildlife conservationist Tushan Kaparusing heads the program. We decided to employ these egg collectors as nest protectors. So now you can see now they turtles are protected on the beach and also at the same time uh, people have an alternative livelihood. As another source of local income, women are being trained to sew colorful batiks based on sea turtle motifs for sale to tourists. Computer literacy classes are also underway. Ecotourism is providing additional income for the community. Foreigners come from far and wide to marvel at the spectacle of the nesting turtles. The beach at Rikawa has been officially declared a wildlife sanctuary, the first in Sri Lanka. As a result of the conservation efforts, the turtle population here is slowly climbing again. Protecting the eggs is important because only a few of the baby turtles that hatch will survive to adulthood. Most will be caught by gulls and other predators. When we first arrived here in 1993, what we saw that uh, they were collecting all the eggs laid by sea turtles here and they didn't allow any hatchlings to um, emerge and survive. For the conservationist, protecting the sea turtles has been a kind of crusade. Changing the locals' mentality is a long-term effort. So Kaparusing also teaches the local school children about the sea turtles. He is doing his best to increase environmental awareness in the next generation. And when the real sea turtles return to Rikawa at night, they now have a better chance to complete the age-old cycle of life. <laughs>